time. 10 past 11. Excellent. Okay, Frank, can you tell me what animal this is? It's a lion. Great. The next one? That is a hippopotamus. And the last one? That's a dog. Good. Frank, now I'm going to read you a list of five words. I want you to repeat them back to me. In about five minutes, I'll ask you to repeat the same five words, as many as you can remember. Okay? Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Can you repeat those for me? Face, uh... I'm going to read you a list of numbers. I'd like you to repeat them. Two. Two. It's a little quick there, Frank. Let me finish. Now, I'm gonna give you one minute to name all the words you can think of that start with the letter F, but no names. So Frank, for example, would be off limits. Ready? Go. Jesus, why can't I think of anything? Still have lots of time, just stay focused. Fish, fun, you said focused. Try not to get frustrated, Frank. Frustrated Frank, there's, there's two more. Christ, I can't think of anything. Fuck, fucking fucker. I'm sorry. I know that was difficult. It wasn't difficult. I just couldn't think. Do you remember when I asked you to remember those five words? The first one was a body part. Ironically, it started with the letter F. It was face. Do you think you might remember any others? No. Sorry, caught with another patient. Nice to see you again, Richie. You too. Everything okay over there? Yeah. Yeah, fine. So, how's your dad? You tell me. Well, if you recall, when you first brought him to me, he was quite disoriented. At the time, because of his condition, we were unable to adequately assess Frank's cognition. But today, no delirium, so I was able to conduct a more thorough assessment. It's a screening tool. Your father scored 18 out of 30. Okay, what does this all mean? Well, it very likely means that your father has some mild cognitive impairment. You might know it better as dementia. Have you recognized any of the symptoms at home? On examination, his short-term memory was particularly impaired. Yeah, no, I've, I've noticed that, but it's, it's weird though. You know, like, he remembers old shit. Like, really old shit from, like, 30 years ago. But then half the time, he doesn't recognize me. It's never easy watching time take our parents away. Yeah. And it certainly doesn't help that we don't know exactly when all this started. The prison. They still haven't sent you any files? Quite frankly, I'm not sure they kept any. Regardless, I want to give you some pamphlets, some tips and tricks to keep his memory active. And there is some medication we can try. Is it expensive? We can work out a plan. Also, you should know I have a legal obligation to report Frank to the DMV. With his impairment, they won't let him reapply for a driver's license. Yeah. You won't be driving anytime soon.
Who are you? I'm your son, Dad. Where'd you get that? Convenience store. How much? Barely enough to keep the power on. Didn't have any cash. What do you mean they didn't have any cash? It's a convenience store. Yeah, well, apparently everyone's paying with a visa now. What about the safe? What safe? Every store has a safe. So how come when I asked you didn't tell me to look for no safe? Well, I got memory problems. Uh, memory problems? I guess that's why you also forgot to mention these assholes carry fucking shotguns. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You want to hear a hard truth? I take it I've heard it before. Many times. Maybe this one will sink in. The only reason I'm here is because you got 50 years of serious experience floating around in that dying brain of yours. I need to use it before you lose it. Why do you need it so badly? I'm in a hole. How'd you get there? I'm pretty sure I have a mental illness. How much? 50. That's a decent hole. Yeah, no shit. When I was a kid, you would tell me about all, all this artwork you and your partner stole. What happened to it? I moved it. All of it? Yeah. Scratch those for me. Well, why can't you scratch them? Just do it, okay? Maybe I'll try the bank. Well, don't be a moron. You can't rob a bank. Yeah, they do it in the movies. They do it in the movies. They make video phone calls in the movies. They, they pull casino heists in the movies. Don't watch movies. They're full of shit. Maybe I'll rob a bank. 
I've been in the joint 20 years. Even I know that banks have cameras and, and trackers and, and witnesses. And believe me, you ain't out running the cops with that, that shit box you drive. You know that shit box is your car. Yeah, and there's a reason I never tried to rob a bank with it. Get yourself a decent getaway car and we'll talk. We? Oui. Like you said, my brain is dying. Maybe I should use it before I lose it. Were you packing today? You know, maybe you should invest in a real gun. I don't like guns. You know, when my partner and me were strapped, we'd look around at what we had to work with, and we'd find a creative solution. So find a creative solution. You won five bucks. Hold on a second. Hey! Hey! You're gonna ruin the thread. Look, I got a headlight restoration and two interior shampoos coming in. You good for it? Questions? Can I get a raise? <laughs> what if I could? Lunch is on me when you're done. Yeah, sorry. Tuesday. I can do Tuesday. I wasn't joking, by the way. I'd pay you more if I could, I just... I can't. Nellie, don't worry about it. You in trouble again? See that kid over there? Every day, he just sits there, waiting for his dealer. Why are those patches now? You heard about this? You know, the painkiller stuff, right? Oh, man, it's nasty. You just roll them up, smoke them. It used to be needles, now it's opium patches. God only knows what's next. Well, I hear they're trying to crack down on it in the city. Good for them. It's not drugs, it's booze. It's not booze, it's cards. It's, it's not cards, well... I guess you're really screwed. Why don't the cops stop it? <laughs> I haven't seen a cop stop a crime out here in years. You haven't figured out that this is a lawless, godless place yet. You're a lot slower than I thought. Hey. I'm not slow. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sleeping with anyone yet? Still on the table, baby. I bought a scratch card last week. It's the first one in three years. <laughs> I know I should feel bad about that, and I do, but uh, I gotta tell you, it felt pretty good. <laughs> uh, at least 
before I lost, of course. But really. <laughs> uh. And you know, they, they don't make them the way they used to. You know how you could scratch them on the bottom and find the, the double triangles? <laughs> God, I could go through 20 of those in an hour without having to find a bingo. <laughs> so why do you think you might have purchased the ticket? I mean, you've been in recovery for a long time now, Gary, so what changed? I was just, you know, I was in the store. Uh, I saw the card. I got an itch. Hmm. And do you still have that itch? Oh, no. I scratched that thing. <laughs> oh, wow, Silent Sam. Is tonight the night you finally open up to us? OK. Moving on. Marjorie, welcome back. Can I get one of those? Sure. I'm Winona, by the way. Richie. I haven't seen you here before, have I? No, but I look familiar, right? <laughs> Casino. Bartender. Bingo. So where you been? Uh, here. I've been here. Three months sober. Oh, well, good for you. Does your sobriety apply to alcohol, too? I know what you're thinking. Indian with a gambling problem. Oldest story in the book. I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> Most people who meet me are. Would you believe me if I told you that I've been working there for seven years and I've never even played a single hand of blackjack? Get out. Never even been tempted. So why go to the meetings? Starting to get tempted. Money's tight, slots are bright. Figured I should stop before I start. Why'd you go to your first meeting? Money's tight, slots are bright. Can't even ask for help either, you know? Too embarrassing. You ever try? Father, mother? I have a very complicated relationship with my father. <laughs> that makes two of us. Hi. Hi. I saw you from across the bar, and I needed to tell you you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Thanks. No, seriously. Breathtaking. Hey. Buddy, one sec, pal, we're talking. Look, I'm only in town for a few more hours, and I was thinking, I've never gone native before. What would you say? Pocahontas. If you don't fuck off in the next five seconds, I'll cut off your scalp. You have to deal with that a lot? Oh. More than anyone probably should. Sorry, by the way, just work stuff. Is, uh, is that the new one? This? No, it, no, I got it online. Got a pretty good deal, actually. Nice. Tell you what, why don't you give me your phone number? Maybe I'll call you sometime. I don't have one. You don't have a phone number? Yeah, I don't have a phone. <laughs> wow. I'd say the 21st century called, but... But I don't have a phone? You don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you should definitely get one. Can't afford it. Mm. So steal one. What the fuck is that thing? That is a video telephone call device from the movies. Go ahead, flip it open. Where'd you get it? I stole it from some prick. 
You lifted this? Pretty much. What's with the red fucking mask? Chad Sanders. It's like his parents knew he'd be a douchebag. Lives in the suburbs, 40 minutes from here. Yeah, it's talking to me. What is? What well, has words? Uh, no signal. Location services now disabled. Oh, shit. What's wrong? I forgot about GPS. What's GPS? I don't know what it stands for. It's like satellites. It tracks your location. And you brought it here? Yeah, I just need to stop it from connecting. Well, take the battery out. You can't. What do you mean you can't? You can't. They build it that way. They build it that way? What did I just say? This stuff is beyond me. Well, you better start learning, because this is our creative solution. These things? Think about it. Use electronics. It's a huge market. We scope out a house. You make sure we have an entrance, an exit. You get in, you get out. No trackers, no securities, nothing. Only one condition, though. We only take from assholes. No convenience stores, no banks. We hit these privileged motherfuckers and we make them pay. Okay, Robin Hood. Which asshole is first? Who are you? I'm your son. What do you want? I want you to help me steal something. <laughs> How do you get in? She leaves a spare key under the doormat. I checked last night, it's still there. And how do you get out? Back to the front door. What are you grabbing? Laptops, tablets, cell phones. What else? Earrings. What else? Jewelry. No, be specific. Um. Come on, what else? Fuck, I don't, I don't remember, Frank. You know. Cash. Spare cash, right? Sorry. Cash. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. Just focus. Get in, get out. You'll never know you were there. Okay, I can do this. You can do this. Now put your mask on. Set your timer. You got five minutes before my mind starts to go. Use it before we lose it. Hey. Don't forget your water gun. Frank, don't forget. Just don't forget. Go. Go!
No, I'm telling you, the people, it's fucking Hicksville out there. Yeah, I called the cops. They didn't do jack shit. Yeah, I bought a new one. Yep. Yeah, so there's this one chick. She's like a six out here. Easily a nine out there. Obviously. Wait, you're telling me you don't use a relative scale? Okay, cool. Talk to you later. <sighs> Babe, you left your hair dryer in the kitchen again. Yeah, I don't know. Just get off this juice cleanse. It's making you nuts. Jesus! Sorry, I forgot. So, how much cash did we get? Oh, bathroom where it belongs. Also, you bought conventional mangoes. We're an organic household. Can't deal with Mexican pesticides. They make me nauseated. I hate... I'll call you back. Can I ask you a question? Why do we have to keep eating the same shit for dinner? Ah, that you remember. I steal them, okay? Every day I shove two of these down my pants and it bruise the hell out of my balls so we don't starve. You should be a little more grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get them? I work at a garage. The owner, she has dogs who guard the place at night. She feeds them this. I'll pay her back. You feel guilty about taking them? Why don't you stop? Yo. Yo. The gun that won the West. 1873 Winchester 3840 caliber. Lever action. Manufactured about 1905. Wow. This baby, single action army Colt 45. Hmm? Now they're both a little beat up, not priceless originals, but if you found the right buyer, they'd be worth a few grand. Lord knows I don't need them anymore. Where were these? I kept them under my bed. You've been hiding anything else from me? I'm not hiding anything from you. No. Do they still work? Last time I used them, they did. I don't have much ammo left. All right. 
Keep these around as a last resort. You're the boss. Daryl, you got the stuff. Stuff? This isn't a drug deal. Oh, come on, man. Two laptops, tablet, and a brand new phone. You want to know the number one reason why most people get caught post-robbery? Huh? Stupidity. Let me ask you something. How do you know I'm not a cop? Huh? How do you know I'm not a cop? Oh, hello, Mr. Officer? Oh, somebody just broke into my home and stole all of this stuff. This, this, and this. <gasps> Oh, well, ma'am, let me just check the internet for... Well, what do you know? A brand new ad for this, this, and this. We'll have him arrested and brought in right away. Stupid. For the record, I'm not a cop. Hate him. Hate cops. But you're lucky I found that ad. When I did, I deleted it for you. How? Hmm. Next time you make an account, don't make the password password. And don't use the library computers, man. They're so easy to track. Hey, everyone starts somewhere. And like I said, you're a lucky guy. Uh. I panicked a little. Okay. Oh. Panicked a lot? Ugh. Right. Ah. Here we go. This is by far the most valuable thing you took. This is worth a lot of money today, you not? Know I'd rather not. Oh, you'd rather not contribute to the county's drug problem? Oh, uh, it's great, man. Sounds great on paper, but you wouldn't have taken these otherwise, right? You know, sometimes the price of poverty is a conscience. Lose the guilt, lose the debt, simple as that. Anyway, this is a pretty good take. I'd say around three, four grand. Are you serious? I'll tell you what I can do for you. I'll wipe everything, factory reset everything. I've got an electronics guy, a jewelry guy, many drug guys. Why don't we meet back here after you find another prick to rob and then you bring the new batch, I'll give you the cash and then we'll get the ball rolling, huh? How do I, 10%. Uh... Yeah, 10%, I'll give you the same as everybody else. I don't ask questions, I don't name names. Whatever the job is, if there's money, I'm in. Fair? Alrighty then, put it there, partner. Yeah, nice. Can I keep the bag? I'm gonna read you a list of five words and I want you to repeat them back to me. Ready? Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Now I'm gonna ask you to repeat those words again to me in five minutes and we'll see how many you can remember, okay? What are you grabbing? Laptops, tablets, cell phones, jewelry, drugs. What else? Cash. Atta boy. Five minutes on the clock. Face velvet church daisy red. Face velvet church daisy red. Hi, everyone. I'm Winona. Some of you might recognize me from the casino bar. Don't worry, I won't rat any of you out. What do you think? Thinking I'm gonna have to start charging you a whole lot more than 10%. I've played my first slot machine last night. I sat there for three hours. Just couldn't stop. You know, after all these years of watching gamblers, I think I finally understand the appeal. It's the rush, right? It's almost like committing a crime. Remember those five words we talked about? The first one starts with an F. Face. Velvet. Church. Daisy. Red. So, you still playing those slots? 
Maybe. You should know better. You want to talk? I'm clean. Are you? Have you seen me at the casino? Not going to the casino doesn't mean you're not in trouble. I'm clean, Winona. I swear. Okay, fine. I believe you. How's your dad? Better, actually. I don't know, it might just be the meds, but... I've been keeping him more active, doing stuff he loves to do. <laughs> all he used to do was eat, sleep, and shit all day. <laughs> Sounds like Winston. Winston? My German Shepherd. You ever have a dog? It's like having a kid. <laughs> I'm telling you, I care more about that animal than I do most people. I would do anything for that guy. You should come meet him. Yeah, um, I, I work a lot. I never know my schedule. I never lock my door. <laughs> Can I tell you something crazy? I hit the jackpot the other night. Five grand. Slots? You're kidding. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? Wait, you play slot machines for a month and you win the $5,000 jackpot? Beginner's luck, I guess. Next round's on me. I have an opening at 3.30 and then another one at 5. Yeah, no, we're closed after that. Yeah, no, just let me have a look. I have a 2, 2.30. You know, I'm gonna have to call you back. Can you hold this for me? Can I help you, gentlemen? That's a little red. He's not so little anymore. You remember Little Red, don't you? Don't worry about me. Do you remember me? Hmm? And what's my name? Your name is Jen. Good. <clears throat> Would you hold that for me, sweetheart? No. I just thought it might make you a bit more comfortable. I'd be more comfortable if you left my property. Fair enough. We're not going to be here long. And please be aware that these are her words, not mine. Dear Robbie, it warms my heart to see you attempting to make an honest living. I take no issue with you stocking shelves or changing tires. I do, however, have a problem with some of your new extracurricular activities. As I'm sure you know, I'm involved in a variety of different f Fiscal. Fiscal. Different fiscal ventures. <laughs> and over the last few weeks, you have begun to cannibalize one of them. She has such a way with words, huh? <laughs> cannibalize. I have no doubt that your heart is in the right place, but I can no longer allow this to happen. And it's time for us to talk again in person. I look forward to seeing you shortly. Lots of love, hugs and kisses. XOXO, 
Roxanne. Huh? You got a car. Is that correct, Shipper? Good. Fucking piece of shit. This must be killing you, huh? It's like an alcoholic going to an open bar. Can you hear him yet? The bells? Slots? Yeah, you can taste it. Ping, ping, ping. Fucking junkie. Sorry for the noise. I'm remodeling. Robbie. How are you? I'm okay. Just okay? From what I hear, you're doing pretty well for yourself these days. Two jobs, a car. I take it you're not living on the street anymore. Yeah, I found some place to stay. Good for you. Though I have to say, you never struck me as someone to get involved in the drug trade. Hell, I didn't intend to. <laughs> Nobody ever intends to. We go where the money flows. And right now, my river is running a little dry. I have no reason to give a shit about the electronics or the jewelry. But I have every reason to give a shit about the drugs. Out here, drugs are my territory. Just like Every money grab on the other side of that door. <laughs> <coughs> what did you think this shithole was government approved? No. No, this is my world. I run the game, I make the rules, and as far as I'm concerned, any drug money you put in your pocket was stolen directly from mine. I will not allow you to pay me back with my own cash. I've already tried that before. I suppose in another world, it would be a privilege to watch a young man grow up. But in our case, it's been more of a tragedy, wouldn't you say? Look at me. I want you to know, I don't blame you for coming here all these years. Sweetie, when I look at you, I see a little boy who grew up in a cesspool of addicts. Addiction. Writes checks we cannot cash. You have an awful disease. But a very profitable one. <laughs> working on my will lately. I wouldn't expect you to empathize. You have nothing to leave behind. But for somebody like me, I've been experiencing something called recurrent malignant pleural effusions. Fluid builds up inside my lungs, essentially suffocating me from the inside. 
Incredible, isn't it? Human body reduced to a clogged toilet in need of some plumbing. <laughs> this is what happens to us when we get old, Robbie. I don't care if you're a billionaire or a bum. Time steals everything. Leaves you with nothing. It's a scary thing, though, you know. Realizing that my bones aren't worth a shit. Honey. You have sticky fingers. I need to take them. What? No, I can't. No. no, no. The mechanic is first, then the support group, then you. Okay, sweetie? You have one week. This is where you've been. Hiding out in the woods. I guess that makes sense. You can hear the slots out here. Ping, 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 ping. Not too bright, are you? You could have brought me into town. Somewhere public, lots of witnesses. <laughs> told me to leave you alone this week, but you know me. I can't help kicking a dog when he's down. Oh, oh. Roxy took it easy on you. Lots of people survive with only eight fingers. I'm gonna take something a little more permanent. You know, my partner never got used to it. Every Sunday, he'd go to church, even if we hadn't pulled a job in months. And he'd beg for forgiveness. Kentucky Straight. That's my church. What happened to your partner? I killed him. 
Why? We don't need to talk about it. Yes, we do. Why? Why did you kill him? He got reckless. It was a liability to let him live. Well, he went to jail anyway. For theft. Nothing more. 20 years in a cell versus 20 seconds in the chair. That choice was real simple. Do you regret it? All my life, all I ever did was take. Now all I've got left is the past. <laughs> Funny how that works. What was he like? Who? Your partner. Who are you? I just wish someone could tell me why I keep coming back. I know I shouldn't. I know it only causes me pain. But I just, I, I just can't let go. Gary, every gambler who has ever lived has been exactly where you are right now. And it is crucial for you to remember that you are not alone. Hey. You're not alone, and you are worthy of forgiveness. <clears throat> Can I say something? Of course. I used to play blackjack. I haven't played in over a hundred days now. That's great. Is it? I have this goal, you know. It's a reason why I do everything and... But... If I achieve it... If I achieve it... What do I have left? Do you ever wonder why gold medal athletes return to the Olympics? I mean, they're not paid well to be there, and they certainly already achieved their goal. Sometimes accomplishments can leave us feeling empty when we should be feeling proud. And if you think that that might happen to you, then I advise you to set another goal. You know, even if it's just something small, just Find it, set it, achieve it. And you just do it again and again. And before you know it, you're not setting goals anymore. You're just living your life. Yeah. I need you to help me kidnap a dog. Excuse me? I have a friend. She just won a lot of money, and I know for a fact she would pay a ransom. Well, you do that to a friend? I'm not gonna hurt the dog, all right? And I'll pay her back every penny. You need to take a deep breath and think about what you're asking yourself to do. I mean, have you got a plan, a strategy? I'm not in this hole alone anymore, Frank. And they're gonna kill them. Are you gonna help me or not? You know, this kind of behavior is not going to save any lives. It's going to end them. You finished it. Yeah, what do you think? Does it remind you of anything? 
Schöne. You should come meet him. I, I work a lot. I never know my schedule. I never lock my door. I wanted to run, but I, I didn't know where to go. I never knew where he lived. I didn't even know he was out. I wanted to kill him right there. But then, he called me Richie. I thought maybe he could help me, so I played along. I pretended to be his son. I didn't know he had a daughter. Neither does he. You know, after Frank got out, it took me three months to muster up the courage to finally go and meet him. Only he wasn't there. Imagine my surprise to find this instead. This doesn't really look like my little half-brother. You've been planning this for a while. I take it you don't have a gambling problem or a dog. Why the act? Why not just invite me over here day one? I wanted to get to know who I was dealing with. Luckily, he turned out to be a bit of an idiot. That goal you were talking about at the meeting, you really do plan to kill him. Why? He murdered my dad. I'm sorry. You know, he probably deserved it. Still. How can you live with him? You talk to him, you take care of him. Like I said, I need his help. Did she do that? 
your fingers? Do you know what she did to Richie? What she made him do to himself? Do you have any idea how much her family has taken from my people? Robbie, I know. I know revenge. I'm addicted to it, just like you. And that's why I don't believe you when you tell me that you let Frank live because you needed his help. There's a reason you tolerate his existence. Otherwise, you would have killed him that first day you found him. I would have. Where did you get that? My mom left it to me with the house. Why? Do you know where she got it? She got it from Frank. How do you know that? Because it's mine. He took it from my house and night he shot my dad in front of me. Why do you tolerate Roxanne's existence? Can I answer your question with a question? Will you help me steal something? I'm gonna tell you a story that has a beginning and a middle and I'd like to see if we can figure out the end. Seven years ago, I was hired to tend the casino bar. Five years ago, I was promoted to managing the bar. And four years, 364 days ago, I started stealing from the bar. Every week, I'd sneak about 500 bucks. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. But I never exceed 2,000 a month. Two grand a month, times 12 months, times five years. You guys do the math. Stealing the money was the easy part. Now I need to get it out. Every time we enter, they search us. Every time we exit, they search us. We can't bring any cash in with us. And we can't take any of our tips home. If only she watched the bar this closely, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But here we are. There is $120,000 waiting for us to rescue it. And if you guys can help me do that, you can take half. Why now? Why do you want to get the money out now? Roxanne is dying, and she isn't taking it very well. And I need to get out while I still can. Does anyone else know you've been doing this? Friend, coworker? The new bartender looks at me funny sometimes, but I'm pretty sure he's just staring. Well, if they're as thorough as you say they are, then distraction is the way we gotta do this. Get their eyes off of you and onto somebody else. Are they watching anyone right now? As a matter of fact, they are. Blackjack Switch, basically the same game, but the player plays two hands, and they have the opportunity to switch out the top cards if they want. What's the catch? The dealer no longer busts a 22. Instead, it's a push. 22 comes up more often than you'd think. And we have one particular dealer who likes to bend the rules a little when that happens. He pays out? She pays out. I guess you should have switched to switch. What time do you enter? 5.30. Where do you go? Straight through the entrance, past the stage, and I sit down at Blackjack Switch. And who do you see when you sit down? I see our dealer. Hopefully under heavy surveillance by her pit boss. As soon as I enter, I go straight to the bar. And what are you wearing? I'm wearing your backpack under my coat. I order a drink, then I go to the cashier, and I attempt to change the counterfeit chips. If my memory's still working at that point, I continue the act. 
If it isn't... It'll probably be even more distracting. Probably. Now, I don't know about you guys, but as far as I'm concerned, bad things come in threes. We already have our rogue dealer. Who are you two gonna be? I, uh, I found these. My partner and I used to wear them on jobs. What happens to us when this is all over? We both get 60 grand richer. You get your painting. Maybe we meet up again someday in a casino somewhere. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And I'm not looking back. Are you gonna tell him? I've made peace with my lack of father figure. Have you? If things start to go bad, can I count on you to keep your cool? Can I count on you to stick to the plan? What are you asking me? I'm asking you not to freak out and shoot Frank in the head. I don't have a gun. something for me to remember your memory I stare at them for hours tenderly they stare back at me with shame they know true love took its claim and I won't ever be the same But one thing I can seem to do Is throw them away or find someone new Because Every day a little less alive But no matter how much I care for them Your roses die Your roses die Is this blackjack switch? Doesn't it look like it? Well. Changing 100. Sir, before we start, I'd just like to be totally honest with you here. Um, I've never... You've never dealt a blind man before? No. That's all right. I just needed to narrate for me, if you don't mind. No, no problem. And if you feel like it, maybe uh, 
Slide me some extra chips when your pit boss isn't looking. If they ask if I saw anything, I could legally deny it. What are we doing? Looks like our pit boss is buying it. Can't take his eyes off him. Good. Where's the other bartender? In the back, grabbing some bottles. Is he going to be a problem? All right. Ready for phase two? You're up. I'm showing king two. That's 12. I'm taking a card. Queen. 22. That's another push. That cleans up a lot, huh? More than people think. Sir, you still have 50 on the table. Would you like another hand? You know what? Let me buy angst. A little more. Changing 1900. I found these earlier. I just want you to tell me how rich I am. You need me to grab anything else? No. I think we're good. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. What do you mean they're not real? <laughs> Sir, I, I need you to calm down, please. Oh, would you calm down if I was trying to steal your money? No one is trying to cheat you out of anything. I can assure you, these are counterfeit chips. I get it. It's because I'm old, isn't it, huh? You think he can pull a fast one on the demented old dude? That is absolutely not the case. Well, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your supervisor. Sir, I am the supervisor. Well, then I don't fucking want to talk to you. That doesn't sound good. Sir, we have a problem with the cashier. So I'm going to temporarily close this table till we get it resolved. Hey, it's fine. I can still... Let's go. Sir, you just give me your glass? You think I'm a drunk? No. But if you don't calm down, I will call security. You know what you are? You are an ageist and a racist. What can I get you? What the fuck are you doing here? Do I, do I know you? Oh, I don't give a shit. If you forgot your Viagra prune juice into pens, you're gonna abide by our fucking rules. Hey! Who are you? What's in the bag, Daryl? Why do I feel like you know the answer to that question, huh? And why do I feel like you're here with Winona? I told you the first time we met that if there's money, I'm in. Sometimes you just gotta screw some people over. That's just the way it goes. What's in the fucking bag? Jesus, go get him some water. Sh should I call 911? Not if you want to keep your job, Tina. What is this? It was you. You ratted me out. You told her about the drugs. Look, he's at the cash right now. He's not even paying attention to the exit, okay? This is our only chance. I don't know. I don't know where I am. Let me see the old geezer's chips. If you let me go, I promise you I will give you half. 
You have something that belongs to me. Go, I got this. Where'd you get these, old man? Uh, huh? Oh, oh, hey! A blind man. Catch. Go to the bathroom, lock yourself in, and I'll let you keep your balls. Um, well, that seems fair. <laughs> Robbie, why don't we just take these glasses off, huh? Where's Red? I quit. Rosa. Go. Hey. Go. I thought I lost you there for a second. My brain's not dead yet. Bring the hammer back. Take a deep breath. Don't panic. go east, I'll go west. Whatever happens, remember, you only have six shots, so make them count, son. Hey. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Right? Right. Okay. Are you okay? Good. Oh, 
Hey, we still have a job to finish, huh? I killed your father with that gun. I know who you are. How? Did you know I painted it? I made it when I was five. Now, Robert never told me that. Then why'd he take it? He must have known it was worthless. I always liked it. <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly, you have one bullet left. I've thought about putting this bullet through your skull. Every day since the day you stole my life from me. Can I give you some advice? Don't. I've never been good at anything, Frank. I, I, I do nothing. I, I have no one, and I used to blame you for that. I thought maybe the one thing I could be good at was revenge. You fucked that up, too. Do you know where I fucked up the most? I've hated you for 20 years. It only took you a month to get me to like you. I'm gonna tell you something nobody ever told me. Something I never even told my own son. You've got something to offer the world. And use it before you lose it. Robbie, what happened to my boy? killed himself. I'm sorry, Frank. Would you sit over here with me? Just take my mind off dying. Oh. Frank. I'm gonna give you a list of five words. In five minutes, let's see how many you can remember. Face. Velvet. Church. Daisy. Red. Has it been five minutes yet? I'm not sure. My watch died.
guys take donations? Uh, every $10 gets you raffle tickets, and it's all for a great cause. So it's a win-win. The real one's a lot bigger. I promise. I'd like to donate. Uh, great. What, um, what can we put you down for? 60,000. 6,000? No, um... 60,000. <laughs> Name?